Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Today, I'm going to do a follow-up video. Um, I know you guys have been seeing my videos on my Quasar VR1000. I did get a bunch of tapes that I'm going to be looking at pretty soon, but I'm not quite happy with this machine just quite just yet. Um, I got done replacing everything, replacing the belts and all that kind of stuff. It plays really good, great color, great playback. But this machine does have an issue. And I had other people who have these machines have been telling me they've been experiencing the same problem. So I wanted to take mine apart to see if I could solve the issue and I could pass this information on to other people that might have the Quasar VR1000 and maybe they're a service tech and they can fix it themselves. The Quasar VR1000, after a while when you use it, the video will start to, you know, look like tracking will start going crazy. It just won't lock. The tracking on this machine is really weird. It will work for a while, and then it stops. So I did a lot of troubleshooting on this machine the past couple days, and I think I solved the problem. Okay, these are what's called potentiometers. See these? These are the trimmers on the front that you'll have your tracking here and your tension here and your tracking here. These potentiometers work uh, to control the tracking and the tension. All right, I noticed when I was testing the old potentiometers that they were going in the infinity scale. They, they would read in a quarter pot, and all of a sudden they're super high, and they're not supposed to do that. So I ordered some new ones. The first ones came today. This, this is the trimmer pot for the tension, which is located on the left, and I got the trimmer pot coming for the tracking. Pretty sure that's the problem with this machine because I was checking these old potentiometers and they do have issues. It's the only thing I can figure out that's causing this tracking issue. So I advise you, if you have a VR1000, you might want to pick up some brand new potentiometers on the front of the unit and change them out. It may solve the problem to keep the video locked in tracking because sometimes at certain points of the tape, the tracking will start going all weird because I think the potentiometer is out of value or it's got bad spots. So I'm not even going to bother with it. I am going to swap it out with brand new ones. So if you have a VR1000, I suggest you change out the potentiometer tracking and tension potentiometers in the front of this unit with some new ones. That should correct your issue with the tracking problems on this deck. Because once this deck gets quite warm and you run several tapes, it starts getting all weird with tracking. And I, that's not acceptable for me. I don't like a, a piece of equipment that doesn't work 100%. So maybe you don't either. So pick yourself up some potentiometers and should take care of your tracking issue on the VR1000.